Hi, I'm Seth Ricketts, a recent Chemi graduate and an intern at Rapid. I've been working on a prototype Chemi cube to give you, the competitors, a glimpse into components that will most likely be included in your cube by November 2021. So without further ado, here's what I've been working on. Here's the cube width and without its protective acrylic panels. This cube in particular serves as a proof of concept test of whether someone with a similar skill set to mine, i.e. a chemical engineering undergraduate student, can construct a process within a one foot cube in a reasonable amount of time and money. Overall, this cube took approximately 1,000 USD and 630 man hours, which initially sounds like a lot of time, but when split among a team of five over the course of January to the beginning of October, it's only about three to six hours per week per teammate. This cube prototype performs a simple two component mixing operation through the use of two pumps and a 3D printed micromixer. Here is a piping and instrumentation diagram showing the pump's self-priming capabilities and the overall layout of the mixing process. The pumping power inside this cube is provided by two open source syringe pumps developed by Michigan Tech's Open Sustainability Technology Lab. These pumps consist entirely of 3D printed and commonly available parts. 3D printed components were printed in white PLA on my modified printer bot simple. The pumps are controlled by a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B with a motor controller hat and simple Python code to control flow rates and pumping amounts for each pump. Mixing is performed by a 3D printed continuous flow reactor developed by Dr. Neumeyer and co-workers at the University of Tübingen in Germany and modified by myself to accept heat set inserts for flangeless HPLC flat bottom fittings. It was printed on a Creality Ender 3 with an enclosure and in clear PLA. Some notable safety elements include safer design by incorporating electronics above the pumping fluid, incorporating the electronics wires into the extruded aluminum frame, the inclusion of a pressure gauge, calculations of pressure drop in straight and curved portions of the micromixer using the Darcy Weisbach equation and the Moody friction factor to show a pressure drop of less than one PSI, an open air design and the liquid containment vessels to prevent pressure buildup, and secondary containment in the cube's removable acrylic side and top panels, as well as a watertight bottom panel. This concludes the overview of my cube's construction and components. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing what you will make this fall.